So please lift up our hands unto heaven this evening. Asking for the power of his presence to take hold on us. To be a rule over all we shall be doing tonight. Let's pray that the Lord will speak to us. Indeed, the time we need it. Let's ask of the Lord, let your word come clear. It is change of this understanding so that you will, anywhere you turn, you will end up doing exploit. You will end up seeing God walking his works. You will end up seeing Goliath falling before you. Now, this strength of that is this. If you don't live for your interests, if you don't live your kind of life, are you kind of the world? You have to deviate yourself from being rubbish by the world. You are not using your body to advertise your flesh or to publicize the world or to give room to the devil to just kill people. You are not giving room to all such. Then it means God, there's a power at work in you demonstrating a life that is against those things. And when you stand up to do anything at all, it is that spirit you represent that become a display of your life. The things that happen to us. But if it's the spirit of God, friend, great exploits await us. And you understand this. Can you remember Solomon? When Solomon daily committedly, consistently, devotedly walked with God. It was a glory to behold. Nations were coming. No. He said all around him were peace. Nothing could shake him until he allowed the flesh to rule. By the time the flesh took over, every calamity came on him. Look at what happened to Nebuchadnezzar. He thought he has gotten everything. I, in my own, have gotten this. And the Lord sentenced him out for seven years. By the time he came back to his senses, he was restored back. And the Spirit of God came mightily. And everything were restored. Perhaps there are issues that have led to a breaking of your relationship with God. That is a covenant binding with God. Just know, like what we read in the I mean, Daniel, Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. Because there is a breaking of covenant, all of these corruptions, evil shall happen. But the people that do know their God, they shall be strong and do exploits. So, know God. Tell somebody know God. Now, please, let me say this. Knowing God, there's no end to it. What I discover is there's more to God than whatsoever you have known or witnessed. Your heart daily should cry, should long for him. Daily, Lord, I want to know you. Lord, help me. Open my eyes. Even when Paul was to die, that I may know him and the power. Ah! This is a Paul that had depth of God experience and yet was he crying unto me. Look at the psalmist of Israel. Say, as a heart spent after the water will so my soul. I want to know you. 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 But I want to please, it takes knowing God. If this is the only one I've said, I think that's okay. Until the touch of strength is removed, that flesh, that those things that move your heart to give confidence to yourself, until they are moved. So that encounter must be. Look at Jacob. I never knew that this is the gate of heaven. That encounter left 
him without the flesh again. It left him died to every other thing. The supplanter he was gave up his strength. That is the skill that fell off from his eyes. Just like it happened to Saul. But if it has not happened to you that you have not seen as repelling the flesh, the influence and the, the persuasions of the flesh, if it's not repelling your spirit, then you have not gotten there yet. You have not gotten those things that will quench the power of the flesh and the world. If you are still thrilled by the plenty you control, by the influence you command, by the, the fame you have, friend, you still need an encounter that will drop that scale. Praying God, giving all glory, recognizing him the almightiness of his glory. Praising him. Praising him. Not praying. Praising him. Giving him your all glory. Every glory that seems to be a glory at all. Not holding it to yourself. Hmm. guess the Lord is speaking to us. Thank God you are seeing a different perspective now. The exploit I am praying for you to make is not just for you to get first class. No. No. It's for your insight to so be enriched and overtaken. There are things God has given to you. You are not careful to know that you're supposed to respond to it as God's own. And you're supposed to be very faithful mind you. When you feel this thing, this stream here, be beside us with debris, it, the flow will stop. The flow will stop. Can you remember what we read? Daniel chapter 11 verse, verse 32. When the covenant is broken, severity comes. I, I don't know whether I'm speaking, but I am just praying that we will be responsible. We will be faithful. Hey, friend, please. Please, if you are giving a work to do, don't be absent my dead. Don't do it as unto Monday. How Monday is a human being, he doesn't know anything. If not God. Don't do it as to any man. Take it as unto God. Because of what is the one from what we have established, is the one at work in us both to will and to do. Faithfulness, ha. faithfulness in our relationship. For instance, uh, I was telling some a sister today. I said, at a point you thought I hated you. I said, I never. But those points, have you proved it? And I said, yes, she's mine. Why? Hmm. What I said in the dark, what I said years back, maybe when she was in year one or PDS. It's still the same thing I'm saying. Keeping on tied to it. Hello. I know what the church is. By God's grace and mercy. I know what we have been called to do. I hope because we are not so plenty. I want to relax it. Oh, let everybody and everything can hand it comes. No. If it's one person, which I know is not possible. It's going to be more. At least we are more than that now. Amen. But one joy I have is everywhere those people that have left here got to, as I connect with them, they say, Lord, sir, thank you for the work the Lord used you to do in our lives. We have become. Bro, my fellows got to U.S. not too long. He has become a keyboardist in a big church. I say, wow. Wow. He just got there not too long. And one of us left here uh, some days ago, it, it, it was somewhere before outside the country, and uh, secured that uh, scholarship. And this is the person I was thinking is not serious. But I said, Sir, I'm going to start a church on Sunday. We could just go to US, but I'm going to look for a church that will teach the truth and practice it. Not that we just say it and not do it. Am I? Let's be responsible. 
I mean, let us be responsible in the dark, in the business world. Let us be responsible as unto the Lord. Holy living. What are the characteristics? I will talk about the other one later. What are the characters? If you look at all of these people we are talking about, like Jesus telling disciples, was so emphatic that if you love me, keep my words, keep my commandments. And the holy living or holy lifestyle, holy living, always. I don't need to come to your room before I know that you are living holy. No. Sometimes it's not your dressing. You may put up and yet you are full of dead my bones. May God help us. The next one characteristic you must be very humble and persevere. If you look at Joseph, all of these men who sing very, very humble and they persevere. The last one, I mean, okay, I just mentioned it. They were they are people filled with determination and unquenchable tasks for excellence. Unquenchable tasks for excellence. And a people of vision and always very creative to see a better tomorrow. I guess the Lord has blessed us. Amen. We will do exploits. I didn't hear your amen. I said, we will do exploits. I said, we will do exploits. Now, this is the pains that made me to confidently say that every one of us will be great in life. If we can allow his rule, allow him to, love, to, to rule over everything about us, the strength of his counsel. There is no way we will not do it.